You know, it's funny, I got so excited about getting all of this new stuff, all these new tractors, building the new sheep farm, that I totally forgot that I've got to put lime on this field. Oy. Or maybe I don't. Just lime in these little areas right here, which I'm totally not going to do. So, <laughs> not happening. Uh, looks like field two needs to be rolled, but that's not going to happen. Um, and I really haven't mulched anything. So, started this... Uh, Started this whole day just the wrong way. So I guess then what we really need to do is rearrange this room just a little bit. I've got to get to this tractor right here, but there's so much in the way. So we'll go ahead and jump with the 7488 right here. The Anteater, man, I love this tractor. It's, it's a really interesting and different style of tractor than I think anyone would really be interested in using, but man, well, oh man, do I love having one. Plus, uh, if you guys didn't know, I'm not allowed to sell anything. We could trade stuff in, but like as far as vehicles go, whatever I got, I got. So there you go. So this right here is our fertilizer tractor and this and that tractor and all kinds of stuff. Tractor. Where's my fertilizer spreader at? It's around here somewhere. Found it. And we're not completely full, but it would be nice to go ahead and have a little bit more in here than we do. We'll go ahead and stop by this little bad boy right here and see how much this is gonna fill up. Ooh. We also need some fuel. Yikes. There we go. Nice, happy tractor. And now time to fertilize. So we do have, I think, the largest sprayer boom on here. I know we upgraded these back in season one, but I don't remember exactly what my idiot new farmer brain did. Nonetheless, everything is working, so that's nice. We'll come over here. I'm also going to double check and make sure that we've got a fast farming enabled. Alt, zero. Got him. And then we are off. Yeah, yeah, we're off. For the longest time, I've used solid fertilizer on my farms, and I think this is a great opportunity on this specific map, on Stone Valley, having a good time here with the new farmer series, doing liquid fertilizer. Yeah, it uses it pretty quickly, more or less. Um, and honestly, if I was smart enough, I'd probably just do like slurry beforehand, do double injection. So I'll never have to fertilize, but we're not really doing that. We've got slurry, but we're selling it because I can sell that slurry and make more fertilizer money, at least for what I'm doing. So that's why I choose to do that. Speaking of, the cows are doing great. Everything's really nice through there. Uh, we do need to go through an entire year of having them before we get new cattle. But uh, yeah, I don't think we're really too far away from that. I think we bought the cows like the second day we were in, which is like August or September. So uh, we shouldn't be that far away from maybe getting a whole new breed of cattle coming into the farm. We'll take a look here. So we've got 100 of them, and we can hold 500. So we may get another 200 in. Reproduction, 80%. Ooh. Man, we always get to this little chakunk right here at the very end. I don't know really what to do with this. I'm tempted. I'm really, really tempted just to paint this in so that the field gets squared off from right here. But... I don't know if that's what I want to do or not. We get a little bit extra right here if I don't do that. I don't, I don't know what I want. Also, it's not fertilizing over there for some reason. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, you know what I might do? Hang on, I'm gonna hire this worker right here. Boop. Do you think home's like, oh God, Ugh. hang on. We are gonna do this right now. I'm just gonna completely get rid of this entire area. Maybe we could put something over here. Maybe it's a silo or something like that, but bruh, not, not today, not what we doing. Let's get in here. We'll kind of go ahead and paint in this with grass, at least through there. But what I do want to do is kind of get in and do nice and slowly through here. Yep, there we go. Easy does it. Boom. How simple was that? We'll go through with some plants right here. We'll just do uh, meadow grass. I think it's probably the easiest thing to do. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, oh yeah, this will actually be nice. Boop, boop, boop. Right up to the edge. Just like that. Oh, I'm so good at it. While we're at it, why don't we put like a just a stupid big tree over here? <laughs> Oh, that was four grand? No! All right, well, I guess I've learned my lesson about planting trees. Oh, it's a nice tree. That Look at that tree. Now we just got to wait on this idiot to go back and forth, and we can, we can move forward another day and hopefully get to harvest it. I'm tired of waiting. <laughs> We're going to hook up here. 
This thing goes, uh, I don't know if it goes twice as fast, but it goes faster. Line it up, do the thing, and go. All right. Oh, I forgot it's gonna go. There we go, fast speed. You know, I just realized it would be nice to get an actual like self-propelled sprayer for Case H. Don't we have these? Yeah, we have a few of them. So I've got the Patriot from uh, from the Kodak uh, Botic, and then I've got the the Trident on here. That's from. Uh, oh goodness, who made that? Xerius, and then you've got the Titan over here from FSG. Uh, yeah, there's, there's, quit, really? You're just gonna go and not hit this part over here? We've got a few different self-propelled case I sprayers. One of, actually, two of them could be used as spreaders as well. That might be a good investment. I know we only have 88 grand, but that might be a good idea later on down the road. Matter of fact, I want to look at them again. <laughs> So I love this Titan. I don't know if it, I don't, well, I said I don't know. I don't think a lot of people use this as much as maybe you would expect them to. I mean, 29 miles an hour right there for that right there. Uh, see, 31 right here for the Trident. But the Trident, you kind of got to put stuff on top of, and it does get a little bit annoying, I think, sometimes for players. What's up like this? Like a, a three-wheeler. I think maybe on down the road we should do something like that because you've got the, the sprayer system right there. You've got a system that does lime and solid fertilizer like this at 18 meters. And then you got another one right here that goes to 28. I think that might be the move, even though it's expensive. Holy cow. And here we are in the next day. And I forgot that I had a milk cell mod turned on. So there's $97,000 in milk. Morning, puppy! All right, what do we got to do today? Um, it doesn't quite look like harvest is ready. At least the, the thing hasn't gone whoosh. Oh, here it comes. <gasps> do we get to watch this live? Um, yeah, I don't think my, my field didn't change. My, my field didn't change. All right, well, I guess we're going to fertilize the... Field three again? Yeah, I mean, it needs it. Why not? Well, that was easy. Our, oh, no, 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 no crash counter plus ones. Not in my watch. Oh, yeah, something I totally forgot. Um, We have sheep and honey now. <laughs> so I guess we need to get a hold of some auto-loading um, auto -loading trailers that'll pick up pallets because I ain't picking that stuff up by myself. We've also got a good amount of wool already as well. I just drove by a few minutes ago. Everybody's feeding, having a good time. Oh, this is this is open. We may want to go ahead and close that. Actually, you know what? I'll leave that one open. I think that looks good. Yeah, we already have like two in here. What is that? A thousand liters. We got another thousand liters over here. Um, got 180 liters there. Wool. Now, where can we sell wool? Yo, wool is killing it right now. Look at this. 3,600, 36, 36, 77. Oh, yeah. Looks like Valley Sales doing that. I mean, what does that mean? We've got seven, almost eight, eight, eight grand worth of wool right here. And this whole thing could fill up. I think we need to wait until the whole thing fills up. That'd be pretty cool. Let's get ourselves another little nappy nap real quick. And I'm going to see how much money we make on milk again here at the end or the beginning, end of the day, whatever. We should also really also have, and I'm talking over the, the Z's right now. Okay, $34,000 in milk. Not bad. We're over 200 grand now. That's nice. If we jump over here to the cattle, yep, we've now got some more. Yeah! Uh, food is high, which is nice. But we probably want to get some more food in here. These little baby cows right now doing good. Um, yeah. That's pretty sweet. Shockingly and annoyingly, uh, our field still isn't grown yet, but there are a few that are. Did they really just go? Ah! You know what's annoying? You wake up first thing in the morning, you get a few fields that have contracts, and then it harvests first thing in the morning, and then they're all gone. I was going to do that contract. Well, it's alright because I cheated in field 8 and that now has a contract. So we're going to pop down here to contracts. And we're going to find the harvesting contract for field number 8 that I cheated in. Except. It is time! Let's get ourselves a little bit of harvest action done. <laughs> we do have this header right here. Which I'm not sure if I need to take the sidekick down there or not. I don't even know if this will hook up. I guess that answers that question. It even moves it about it. 
decent pace. I'm actually not upset about how fast I'm going right now. I could definitely use something a little bit better, probably the TLX, but I, eh, whatever. It started up for the first time. Yes, yes. <laughs> Let's go, man. I'm excited about using this thing. And hook it up. Try not to go in this guy's field as much as I can, but things happen. One of the great things about the honey bee, I know it's not here yet, but one of the great things about it is, well, all I gotta do is hook up to it. And, and that's kind of it. It detaches all the stuff. Boop. Drop that right there. Take the little Kubota, pick it up. Would have been nice if they were all the same size, but ah, uh, you know what? Whatever. It doesn't matter. It's still fine. Hook it up and then pull it out of the way. Now I'm ready to harvest this field. As always, a couple things to make sure. Enable straw swath because this is a field that does have straw. I've got a mod installed where canola will work. So I'm going to take full advantage of that. Let's see even how this does. This is my first time using this, this combine with this header. Dropped it down. It is good. Harvest in the field. It's going full speed, which I am absolutely thrilled about and now all we got to do is run a couple head lens man it's like this header was made for this combine it's working perfect what thing is we are going to have these massive straw swaths even larger than we did previously because of how big this combine header is i think the old one's like seven meters maybe 10 something like that oh yeah i forgot to check the uh used to oh oh hi hello Ooh, and this is Steve's as well. Whoa. I got sidetracked. Where was I? So the old one is seven and a half meter. This new one is 11 meters on the header. Oh, oh, oh. That was a piece of candy. I'll, I'll be back. Oh, there's another one. I'm, I'm going to have to come back and pick all these up. I got a job to do, man. And just like that, we have hired the worker and we done. Yep. I'm just going to go ahead and get out and let him do his thing because i am done with that now here's one thing that i do want to do i want to give something a try so ad2 studio just released this the global goods transport palette and i think what i'm going to try and do is utilize this in some way shape or form uh you're you should be able to use this as like a dump or something like that so i think we're going to try and do that we're going to go with the unreal capacity which gives us two hundred thousand liters it's only a thousand bucks plus it will hold like kind of all of our bulk crops and stuff so we'll come in here we'll give this the uh the case ih red nope don't like that uh gray and oh, that works standard unreal capacity we'll go ahead and buy ourselves one of those let's pick this palette up man i'm i'm real interested to see exactly how this is gonna work now i do know that anybody can pick this up it ain't heavy it just is what it is you can just pick it up do your thing put it on the back Looks a little silly, but, oh, 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 no, no, want to get in there. There we go. And we'll strap it down. Now, in order to connect with this, we can also open it and close it, but it's always opened if you could see it. So at least there's that. And because this is a universal palette, oh, oh, that's, yeah, I'm not going to leave. Can't leave that one behind. I saw that one on the side of the road. Because this is an auto pallet in itself, I don't think we're going to be demolishing any crops here. Nope, because it's a contract. Where is the combine? Where is he? Is he down here? Yeah, he is. I'm going to see if I can cart with this. I don't know if I can, but 82 Studios said you could unfill it with a combine. So let's see how true that is. The pipe is opening. It's open. It's right there. Oh, it's filling it up. Look at that. Canola into the bag. Actually, I need to let this worker go ahead and do his thing. But we'll speed up just a little bit right here. <laughs> oh, it works. It shouldn't. I mean, it, I guess it should. It, it should definitely work. And it is. It is working. How neat is that oh that's just cool man go ahead and park that up and go ahead and get us another piece of candy got him and now to get some bailing done because we are going to be stealing all of the bales off of that field now yes you guys probably know that eventually i would like to upgrade to the big case ih wing baler if you guys aren't familiar with that one dis i want this but ken has that because it's all the monies so dis this is what we're going to use for this. I could also use that mod where it was like big bales, but uh, 
I don't actually have... Well, I mean, I've got it installed, I just have to buy it. And they're expensive. So I'm just gonna use this, because this works. Yep, I'm already tired of waiting. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and do this again. We'll get this thing rock and rolling. How about that? Just realized that I sold my nuggy. No! All right, so we're just gonna put, I think, two of them down there. They're, they're $500 each, but I also think we should be able to sell twice as fast if we has two nuggies. One nuggy. Can I, can I drop it? Got it. Two nuggy. Ha ha ha. Goop. Now, I can't get in the, let me in. Now, I should be able to sell the bells twice as fast and uh, make the same amount of money. I don't know. Let's see if it works. Before I had to go 19 miles an hour. And I don't want to go 19 miles an hour. I just want to go. Hey, now that's not bad. Pretty sure I can't just go full speed past here, but. Oh, got him. Full speed, baby. Let's go. Yeah. Do it again. I'm hunting bells, baby. There's one. Got him. Got him. I love it. So the sell points are actually working in tandem and doing exactly what I wanted. Selling the bells twice as fast. Sweet. That's kind of nice. Just driving right past the bell and watching it go a beep got him i will say that 30 miles an hour seems to be about the good speed to hit it just perfectly but yeah this is working great uh oh um uh, i did a i did a thing no centrifugal force rip i'd love to tell you i know what happened there but i have no idea i wasn't going too fast i was only driving up at, at, at unsafe speeds that's not too fast, it's just unsafe. All right, well, whatever, there. <laughs> we're back. I tell you what, if you're looking for an easy way to sell bells and things like that, Mobile Utilities is the mod you have definitely, definitely gotta have installed. So after selling all of these bells, or at least almost all of these bells, man, look at that, we're already over 230 grand. Get out of here, birds. What do we have, one more bell left? Two more bells? How many, how many more bells? I think it's just this one? Yeah, just this one. Boop. Got it. All right. So a lot of bells have been sold right through there. We're up $324,000. And if you've seen the uh, thumbnail, well, you'll know that I did this. It was either film it or take a thumbnail. And I needed a thumbnail. I'm sorry. But we've got 108,000 liters in here. And we're taking it to the sell everything. Isn't this... Hang on a minute. Yeah, the sell everything is on my land. Come on, man. So this is the part where I'm not quite sure exactly how uh, this is going to work, but I'm sure it'll work fine. Just pull over it and it starts selling. Is that... Uh, yes. Indeed, actually, that is it. And look, even the pallet's going down. Look at that. Yo, that's so cool. With this holding 200,000 liters... It's nice. Uh, contracts going down. I don't. I don't actually know what the price for. See, we're a uh, multi buying station selling. Sell everything. Thirty nine hundred. Ooh, yep. We are just gonna let this thing sell. I still can't believe how easy it was. Just letting this thing sell. Like I'm just over top of the sell point. It's not even like I'm doing anything wild and crazy. We should start to get paid. There we go. Contract unfilled. Ninety eight percent completed. There we go. There. And then we should get the last little bit of money off of it right here. Eh? Uh, oh, it just keeps going. Yo, we made almost $50,000 from the extra. Are you serious? And then we get to, like, actually collect from the contract. Bruh. We have more than quadrupled. Well, almost quadrupled the amount of money. Actually, I think we have quadrupled the amount of money that we got since the beginning of this. How neat is that? I'm sure there's some other stuff that we could do with this palette as well, but uh, yeah, it's gonna have to wait until tomorrow.